Greetings everyone, I'm the Geek Master. Welcome to my latest pickup video. Before I go into the pickups, just general updates, how things are going. So I mentioned in my last video that I had a week off and I did go out a couple of times, went around a few charity shops, uh, CX, a couple of game stores. Didn't grab as much as I hoped to grab, but did get some stuff, including a couple of pretty good charity shop pickups actually. I'd say the best pickups I've had in a long time from a charity shop. Well, until the one you're gonna see in this video. I think that wins. And it's probably the best charity shop pickup I've ever had. Um, I also spent some of my time doing stuff in this room. So although this bookcase won't look that different, I have done stuff over here. Also, yes, new angle. Um, just because I was gonna sort out the stuff right behind me to sit there, but my cat's right there, so I can't. Um, this display bit uh, there was uh, where that bookcase is and that bookcase shelf unit thingy. I only got last week when I was off and put there, it's to hold my book books. Like re um, I've got some geeky fiction, basically. Um, Star Trek, Star Wars. So a few game books, hope to get Bond books. And now I've got more than one place for I'm having a few along here. Um, done a couple of other bits. Got a couple of magazine holders to put on my shelf where I had magazines, game guides, etc. My thinking being um, that previously I could take them out, but it's awkward putting them in because them game guides get heavy, especially when you've got as many Pokemon ones as I have. I've now got a div holder which lets me split them up and I can easily pull the magazines in and out. So I will be getting more of the Nintendo official magazines I shared in my last video. And GameCube wants to go with the Ruby Sapphire one I showed in the Ruby birthday video. Um, and having got that bookcase there, there, I've bought a few books. In fact, I had one of our today, but I'm not going to give them away because I'll do a little video on them. But they are Star Wars, so I'll say that. Um, yeah, I don't really get many Star Wars books apart from the three I shared previously and the four I'll show you later. So, yeah. Um, otherwise, just basically play some games. I was off after all. Spent some time on uh, GTA V online. Been playing through the story mode again near the end now. Um, been playing Pokemon Scarlet ahead of the DLC coming out. Gave that a quick go, that was a lot of fun. Um, can't wait for the second part actually. I think that will be even better potentially. Um, what else? Chill, pretty much. Week off, why wouldn't I? Anyway, um, one of the other things I did while I was off, and this ties into the pickups now, is spend some more time with my partner retro crazy gaming and basically i'm not going to give away too much but i know she's having a bit of a clear out and she's got games she wants me to take to cx but first of all saw if there's any that i wanted i've got a few in my bag either just to upgrade my versions or one or two to add to my collection so i'll share them in a separate video however one she did have which i've kept and she actually ended up just giving me, and I'm so grateful for this. It is the first pickup, which is technically an addition to the Nintendo 64 collection, but I already have this game. So it's not part of the Final Fantasy 3, but it is a box copy of Diddy Kong Racing. Now, the reason we're not selling this CX is it's not immediate obviously for the box protector or from this angle, but it's it's not in the best condition, admittedly. I don't know what you can see, but it's got cellar tape all there. Um, and on the front as well, you might just be able to see it for the protector. So we decided that there's no point trading it in. They'll probably just do it as unboxed. So she said, if I want it, I can have it. So I did. And it's not just because it is a Nintendo 64 game. This game actually holds significance to me when it comes to the 64. 
which is this was the first game I ever owned or played on a Nintendo 64 back in January 1998. It was a Christmas present for my dad for Christmas 97. We got it a couple of weeks late, but there you go. And this is one game he bought with it. Um, I maintain this is better than Mario Kart, by the way. Um, so, yeah, as I said, it was Diddy Kong Racing was the first game I owned and played on Nintendo 64, so it holds a lot of significance to me when it comes to that console. So when I had the chance to have a box copy, well, especially for free, I wasn't saying no. I know it's that it's not in the greatest condition, and, I'm, and that's fine, because it's all there, that's the thing, it's complete. So, yeah, I can show it, might be able to show what I mean about the condition a bit better. But as I said, I mean, I could be wrong, maybe they would take it in the box, but my gut feeling is they wouldn't. But, as I said, it's complete. So, got manual. Got the insert, got the box, uh, cartridge. So, really awesome to have a complete boxed Nintendo 64 game for a collection. I've only got two other boxes. One's the one of them, the box is even worse than this, which is Boycott 98. The other one is a copy of FIFA 99 I had donated to me two or three years ago. Um, but yeah. Also, this whole significance because, as I said, not only is it the first game I owned 64, but this was given to me by my partner. So now it holds special significance that way as well. And that's why I'm just so happy to have this in the collection, regardless of the condition. A, because of nostalgia, and B, because it's a special gift from my partner. And I just want to say thanks, sweetie, I appreciate it. Kind of making me want to get more Box 64 games, I, which can be a problem, because how much they cost and how much space they take up. Yeah, um, maybe like just odd ones, as long as I'm getting decent prices, like ones that mean a lot to me. Unfortunately, that means a lot of the expensive ones. That's the problem. Uh, okay, now, Cherry Shop Pickup. I could not believe this when I saw it. Um, it was Oxfam, and I was literally checking to see if they had any Bond books, Star Trek books to go for that bookcase. Or maybe they had like a game that was of interest, like something for the Wii, the 360, or DVD even. I'm looking for a few odd DVDs. What did I find instead? For 99p? Yeah. 99p in Oxford. And I've even kept the sticker on it. I have never seen the Master System game in charity shop before. I've seen Mega Drive a couple of times. Nothing major, I don't think. Um, but I have. But I've never seen a Masters game. Unfortunately, this was the only one out on the shelf. Otherwise, I really would have bought more. I mean, Quidditch, I'm not going to turn that down. Um, thankfully, yes, I've cut down my Master System collection, but I know this is like one of the Sega Sega ones. And I didn't have this. It's 12 quid, I think, in CX, but also, it's complete. So, yeah, literally, it was just sitting on the shelf like this. I was just scrolling through the DVDs and realised so there was a white, thick white sleeve saying Mega Cartridge, and straight away it was Masters, and I was like, what the hell? And straight away I was like, I'm having that. And when I saw it was 99p, I was like, I am definitely having that. But I'd been stupid not to, to be honest. Um, yeah, never played it. That's the cool thing. So I guess I'll have to at some point now. But I need to get my mouse system out for that. But it does have the original uh, Sega sticker, but for some reason it's stuck there where the cartridge is. And as you can see, it has a hand tap, decent one at that. It's just a little dusty, but I can sort that. But 99p in a charity shop. I thought the pickup I got uh, on the Monday, which I'll share again later on, was good. This is not to smash that. This is smash probably every charity shop pickup I've ever had. 
I mean, has anyone ever seen a Master System game in a charity shop? Because it's definitely a new one for me. Um, yeah. So, that kind of, like, was a big surprise seeing that. I said, I'm not planning on really adding to my Master System collection. Unless it's like anything specific, there's but I think one or two games I want to add. If I want to cut it down, partly for space. Probably a couple of them I might get rid of, to be honest. But this is a proper Sega one. I'm not getting rid of this. I'm keeping it. I'm adding it. Um, yeah. I do know, I believe, that the little ship there, the red and the blue one, is on Sega Racing, I think. The Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. Could be wrong though, but I think it is. So yeah. But as far as I'm concerned, out of all my social pickups, that's the best one ever. I think that'll take some topping to be honest. I'm tempted this weekend to see if they have any more just by chance. Um but if not, I'm not I'm not disappointed. I mean, also in between the two games, I've paid 99p. I'm not complaining about that. Great charity, show, uh, great charity shop find. Wonderful gift from my partner. What can I say? I think these are two epic pickups. Um, yeah. So really happy with them. So... I guess following on from this question, what is your best ever charity shop find? I know they're not what they used to be and it is a shame, but there's still deals out there. I think that proves that. I'm happy with what I got the other day as well. So they are still out there and it's good to get that confidence boost. But what is your best charity shop pickup? Let me know in the comments down below. But for now, I'm going to say goodbye. I will have more pickups soon. And I've got a couple other bits to be coming up including the eating of some food potentially live but we'll come to that later on but otherwise thank you for watching um and i will see you soon